Okay, so talking about independence and conditional probability. Two events, E and F, are independent if the probability of E given F <clears throat> equals the probability of E, or we can also check, it's the same thing, the probability of F given E equals the probability of F. So let's use this table of political party by age of people that are registered to vote in Iowa to answer the questions. Are Republican and 30 to 44 years old independent? Well, we need to see if the probability of Republican given 30 to 44 is the same as the probability of Republican. So let's see, let's calculate the probability of Republican given age 30 to 44. So remember when we have a contingency table like this, it's always the number of people that are 30 to 44 year old Republicans in this case, divided by the number of 30 to 44 year olds. So Republicans that are age 30 to 44, there's 340 of them. So we say 340 divided by and remember, we want the total number of 30 to 44 year olds because we know that we're in that category. So that's 724 of them. So if we calculate that, we get approximately 0 0.4696. So now we just need to calculate the probability of getting a Republican. So for the probability of getting a Republican, there are 2,200 total Republicans. And we need to divide that by the total number of people, which is 4,000 total people. And that gives us 0 0.55. So 0 0.4696 does not equal 0 0.55. So Republican and being a 30 to 44 year old, are dependent. Okay, what about being a Democrat and being 65 plus? So, on part A of this problem, when I used the rule, I would let Republicans be E, and I let the 30 to 44 year olds be event F. This time I'm going to do it the other way around, just to show using the other equation, just to show you that it works either way. So is Democrat, we'll call that event F, and 65 independent. Sorry, that is not what I wanted to do. Democrats are still going to be E, and the 65 plus age is still going to be F. But instead of doing 
in part A, we did P of E given F equals the probability of E. That's what we checked. This time we'll check the probability of F given E equals the probability of F. So that means the probability of being 65 plus given that you're a Democrat. So we need, I'm going to erase our yellow from before, the number of people that are Democrats and 65 years old. So both categories at the same time. That's the 459 people. So we have 459 out of, this time we want to use the total number of Democrats because when we do the conditional probabilities, remember, we want to limit the total number of people into the total number of people in the category after the given. So 1,800. And if we calculate that, we have 0 0.255. So now let's calculate just the probability of being a Democrat. So in this case, we need the total number of Democrats. 1,800, and we want to divide that by the total number of people. Which is 4,000. Sorry, we don't want to do that for the Democrats. We want to do it for people 65 plus. I apologize for that. So the probability of 65 plus. So the number of 65 plus year old people we have is 1020. And we want to divide that by 18, by 4,000. And when we do that, we get 0 0.255. So this time, our two probabilities were equal. So that means that being age 65 or older and being a Democrat are independent. Well, that wraps up section 5.4. That is all we're going to do in chapter five. The next material we will cover is chapter one material, which is a lot of definitions about statistics and the practice of statistics and things like that. So not as much math, but a lot of definitions. I will see you in chapter one.